Hey guys, this is Coach Todd over here. I'm here at the Primos Warehouse. So no guys, but I'm going to here. Work needs to be done. That's what we'll be doing today. I'll see you guys in a bit. I've been a bit busy because you know working on a weekend, weekend like usual uh, so ano din naman after my birthday um medyo nagmuni muni din ako with myself I do that with myself I get to really strategize and uh yun parang at the moment I know it's been a challenge because being a coach I know work has been uh, somehow somewhat of a challenge for us because Shepard, I mean, gyms are uh, slowly opening, but of course, we know there are still limitations, and not everyone is um, confident yet to get back to uh, working out in the gym. And understandable, I mean, very important that we uh, stay as safe as possible, especially during these uh, challenging times. So, basically, with that in mind, but I also uh, try to. Uh, do uh, a lot of work on the side as well because I mean, we still have to pay the bills and of course I mean as much as possible we want to uh, live comfortably so we do a bunch of stuff and uh, that's what uh, kept me occupied for the past couple of months so I'm still working on uh, making this a regular habit and uh, at the same time you know, man, parang we want to streamline everything as much as possible. Hindi nasisira yung wing with plenty of things that I want to do. I want to make sure I'm still giving at least good quality when it comes to work and uh, everything that I do. I mean, gagawin mo na lang, di ba? Might as well do your best, right? So, yun. It's really normal for someone to get tired at some point I mean with everything that we do especially uh, at the time right now where everything is all fast-paced everyone wants to perform I mean everyone wants a good life and uh, at the same time we all have our own goals as well and uh, you know, we have our own hustles that sometimes diba, uh, we do understand that we get tired at some point and it's just like sprinting running diba? Parang, you want to go sprint all out but of course at some point those sprints aren't going to be as fast as when you started at some point babagal at babagal ka. a lot of people do get tired um yun yeah parang when that happens i mean always remember that it's okay to rest well i talked to uh, jello suarez in a podcast actually i think it was just yesterday and i think the video is up already so, so follow nyo siya um the yung ito yung kanang youtube channel follow nyo siya and of course if you're also not yet subscribed to my channel maybe you want to subscribe as well so yun so don't forget to follow subscribe ring the bell as well uh, for some notifications every time i make a new video so na pag usapan namin dun sa podcast yung goal setting and uh, I know uh, si Jai Loren is also experiencing a slump at some point uh, sa kanya naman it's partly with yung academics and I know with the new setting everything is a little bit more uh, challenging than usual you no know, everyone experiences that one as well so isa doon sa mga nagpag-usapan namin is yung excuses and uh, I know sometimes everyone gets tired uh, sometimes we get to develop an excuse on bakit natin pinagpapabukas yung mga bagay na I know some of us we do know na important for us pero um, 
sometimes hindi natin maiwasan na tatamaran tayo or you, we do get tired and we think na sige pagpabukas ko na lang itong gagawin ko so here are some things that you'd want to remember or um, some suggestions ko na how you'd want to tackle when you feel like you want to make an excuse because everyone does experience getting tired as well so number one you have to remember that Remember why you have that specific goal that you have. Remember the why, basically. When you remember your why, it's easier for you to get back on track. Uh, for one, naman, I mean, everyone already has a reason why they pick a specific goal. I mean, when it comes to, let's say, getting high grades or um, making sure that I'm successful when it comes to business, for example, um, we all have the reason why. Um, hindi naman siya basta-basta lang na wala, gusto ko lang. Diba? There's always an underlying reason on why we want that to happen. And as long as we remember our why, it's actually easier for us to get that push from, from inside to tell us to just go ahead and go for it. Um, yung example ko with Zelawas, when you have uh, an exam, for example, tapos biglang nag-brown up, at hindi ka pa nakapag uh, aral, di ba? You don't just say, ayoko na, hindi na lang, hindi na lang ako mag-aaral kasi brown out, di ba? If it's that important for you, let's say, to pass an exam, for example, what you're going to try to do is you're going to find a way to make it work because you remember the why and you know the importance of what you will be doing. Kung pag brown out, di ba, you're going to look for a light source, di ba? Kasi hindi ka ng andila, labas ka, uh, harap ka ng source of light na pwede mong gamitin para mabasa yung readings mo. I mean, you're gonna do anything and everything it takes just to be able to reach that goal because you remember your why and you understand and you remember why you want your goal to be reached. So next up, remember that it's okay to pause and regroup. I know a lot of people have this, uh, I mean, it's good that everyone has this uh, knows what mamba mentality is the importance of going for that extra push just to be able to reach your goal but important lang din sa atin na magpahinga and regroup at times I mean, tandaan nyo lahat ay napapagod when someone does multiple repetitions of sprints one will notice na pabagal ng pabagal yung sprints na as the sets go further and that's because fatigue in order to replicate a uh, specific attempt for example let's say when you're lifting diba, you're going to need a specific amount of rest as well it's okay to pause and regroup and uh, yun nga, when it comes to taking care of let's say your mental health for example napakalaking importance nung being able to say wait lang, let me regroup ang pinaka important dito I mean, when we say pause, it doesn't mean pause, tama na, tigil na to. Iba rin naman yung parang, oh, yung, fa yung feeling of failure na hindi ko na-reach yung goal ko. Remember, what we're talking about is pause and regroup. When you regroup, plan on how to make things a little bit better because that's the objective. I mean, remember that this process is yours. I mean, this is your objective, this is your goal. So, might as well be able to enjoy the process as well. Isa sa mga suggestions ko is to be able to do something with a lower intensity. So I remember yung parang precision nutrition wheel when it comes to, let's say, yung pause button mentality. Instead of uh, putting on the pause, or I suggest kapag nag-pause kayo, eto yung planuhin yun, na parang anong pwede kong gawin na mas lower intensity, na mas doable. Kasi when it comes to, let's say, doing something with a lower intensity, at least papunta ka pa rin towards your goal. Kahit sabihin natin, niliitan mo lang yung steps mo, papunta dun sa goal mo, pero mas doable siya. Taking a big step or a little step, as long as it's a step moving forward, you're still going forward. And that's an important part of how you'd want to deal with goals. Your nutrition, for example, um, a lot of people kasi, I know, they, they'd want to go all out gaga drastic means kasi parang, ano ba yung fastest way possible? And I do understand that one. Kaya, a lot of people are fascinated with 600 calories in 4 minutes kahit napaka-imposible. You don't really have to like quit all the good stuff that 
you like eating, di ba? Para sa akin, it's one of the worst ways to get to fix your diet, quitting the food that you love. Instead of, let's say, removing the food that you love eating, you could adjust by just managing your portions. I mean, instead of, let's say, eating a whole pizza, maybe a slice would do. Or let's just eat the my favorite food kapag workout days, for example, when I know I kind of earned it. For example, di naman kailangan all out super hard na challenge ako ng workout ko to a point na parang mamamatay ako each time I work out. Diba? Pag hindi kaya, just dial it down a notch. Sometimes uh, going outside for a walk just to get those steps in and get some physical activity done for the day is actually gonna go a long way already. Di lang siya necessary uh, stop, pero ano siya, parang it's still a step forward. I mean, literally, you're walking. And uh, you still do something for your goals. Big effort, small effort, it's still effort. I mean, it still is going to bring you towards your goal. Alright? So, always remember in these types of things, I know sobrang dami ng kailangan nating isipin nowadays. You guys have to understand that at the end of the day, this is all about you. You have one life to live. I mean, might as well get to enjoy the process. Towards this process, I mean, I took time to actually uh, get to smell the flowers. I got into this while well, watching Netflix with Zen and uh, we watched this uh, Blackpink video thing. We didn't know Blackpink to begin with, but we were intrigued and we came to the point now. we actually were now watching a Blackpink video. So, yun. so you know, when you listen to all the YouTube, you get to watch a bunch of stuff. And I stumbled upon this uh, K-pop group called Twice. And, uh, ayun. Ayun. Yeah. Times are a little bit different nowadays. I mean, we're tayo in quarantine. And uh, it's surely going to be different. Life has challenges included already. It's just lang on how we want to treat things. And I'm telling you guys that what's best is you guys have fun. Remember, your goal is still always going to be your goal. And walang pakialam yung mga tao sa jag sa gagawin niyo to be able to get to reach your goal so might as well I want you guys to get to enjoy the process because you have one life to live and it's very important you get to enjoy this that's it for today I'll see you guys on the next one have a great day everyone see you guys soon